acá son bienvenidos. Gracias.
Well, once again, good evening to everyone and welcome here to St. Odelia's. I'm Father James Peterson, the pastor, and here to celebrate this Easter vigil with all of you, this beautiful and glorious night. Bienvenidos a todos. Me llamo Padre Santiago, hijo de Pedro. Soy el párroco aquí de Santa Odilia. Muchas gracias por estar aquí en esta noche tan preciosa, tan importante por nosotros cuando celebramos la resurrección de Cristo Jesús. So we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus with confidence in his grace and mercy for all of us. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. At various moments, I'll go back and forth between English and Spanish. Now it'll be a bit in Spanish, Espanol. Hermanos y hermanas, hermanitos y hermanitas, en esta noche santa, en que nuestro Señor Jesucristo pasó de la muerte a la vida, la iglesia nos invita a nosotros sus hijos, seminados por el mundo a que se reúnen para velar en oración. Conmemoramos, pues, juntos la Pascua del Señor, escuchando su palabra y participando en sus sacramentos, con la esperanza cierta de participar también en su triunfo, sobre la muerte de vivir con él para siempre en Dios. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant that by these paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So I've just blessed the fire that we'll use to light the Easter candle here. We now have the preparation of the candle itself. And so yo acabo de bendecir el fuego que vamos a utilizar para el sirio pascual. Ahora yo voy a tener un acto ritual aquí con el sirio. And so I will trace different parts of the Easter candle. You can see this closer up, uh, either later today or in the coming days. We'll have the Easter candle burning throughout the Easter season. Christ yesterday and today. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and Omega. All time belongs to him and all the ages to him be glory and power through every age forever. Amen. Amen. Now there are five different pins that represent the five wounds of Christ. Ahora hay cinco cosas que son representaciones de las heridas, las llagas, cinco en total de Cristo Jesús. Entonces voy a poner estos ahora. So I'll place the first where Jesus had the wounds in his head with the crown of thorns. By his holy, and then within the center where his heart was pierced, ahora donde su corazón, in glorious wounds, now towards where his feet were pierced, may Christ our Lord, a los pies de Jesús, Now at his right hand, guard us. Sus manos, and protect us. I will now light from the candle over here, our Paschal candle. Ahora voy a prender a Sirio Pascual. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Now, symbolically, we'll have the little candles as well from the light of Christ. And we'll have a response here to a phrase that I'll sing in Latin. It means the light of Christ. Our response will be 
thanks be to God, but it will be Deo gracias. Ahora voy a cantar la luz de Cristo en latín. Vamos a responder gracias a Dios, pero el dicho va a ser Deo gracias. Lumen Christi, Deo gracias. So now we'll have some of the candles lit here from the Paschal candle. Ahora vamos a tener las velas prendidas, representaciones de luz que nosotros tenemos a causa de Cristo, la luz del mundo. We now have some of these lights being lit with the little candles, a representation that we ourselves are called to be those children of the light. Now we're going to make our way into the church with the incense and the Paschal candle leading the way and then everyone else following behind. Two other moments, I will sing out the Lumen Christi and we'll respond with Deo Gracias. Ahora vamos para la iglesia con el Sirio Pascual y el incienso, monaguillos, sacerdotes y conmigo y luego ustedes después. Lumen Christi, Deo gratias. We continue to make our way towards the front. Seguimos hacia para allá adelante. Lumen Christi, Deo gratia. As everyone processes in safely here into church, we'll prepare to hear a traditional hymn called the Exalted, a Latin phrase again of exalting God's goodness and graciousness. Father John Rumsa, the associate pastor, lowly parochial vicar, my fellow son of thunder, will 
proclaim it and sing it this evening. Entonces, esta tarde noche vamos a escuchar de un himno que se llama El Exultet. Es un dicho de exultar a la gracia y la gloria de Dios. Es algo tradicional. Padre Juan, mi hermano de trueno, el vicario parroquial aquí, él va a cantar esta canción mientras que estemos de pie y vamos a escuchar y recibir lo que él va a cantar. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad as glory floods her ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy. Filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. Therefore, dearest friends, standing in the awesome glory of this holy light, invoke with me, I ask you, the mercy of God Almighty, that he who has been pleased to number me, the one worthy among the Levites, may pour into me his light unshadowed, that I may sing this candle's perfect praises. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry shod through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. O wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer. O oh, truly blessed night, Worthy alone to know the time and hour 
when Christ rose from the underworld. This is the night of which it is written, the night shall be as bright as day. Dazzling is the night for me and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this, your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor, a fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees to build a torch so precious. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star the one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people, and in these, the last days, ascend us his son as our redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Hermanos y hermanas, hermanitos y hermanitas, habiendo iniciado solemnemente la vigilia pascual, escuchemos con recogimiento la palabra de Dios. Meditemos como en la antigua alianza Dios salvó a su pueblo y en la plenitud de los tiempos envió al mundo a su Hijo para que nos redimiera. Oremos para que Dios lleve a su plenitud la obra de redención realizada por el misterio pascual. At this time, <clears throat> at this time we invite you to carefully extinguish your candles and to be seated as we listen to the word of God. En este momento, ustedes pueden apagar cuidadosamente sus velitas. Gracias. Thank you. A reading from uh, the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland and darkness covered the abyss while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw how good the light was. 
God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus, evening came, and morning followed, the first day. Then God said, let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came, and morning followed, the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin, so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin, and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed, the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed. The fourth day. Then God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. 
And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came and morning followed. The sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray. Oremos. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. But in sentarse para la segunda lectura, you may be seated for the second reading. Lectura del libro del Éxodo. En aquellos días, dijo el Señor a Moisés, ¿Por qué me sigues clamando? Dile a los israelitas que se pongan en marcha, y tú, alza tu bastón, extiende tu mano sobre el mar y divídelo, para que los israelitas entren en el, en el mar sin mojarse. Yo voy a endurecer el corazón de los egipcios para que los persigan, y me cubriré de gloria a expensas del faraón y de todo su ejército, de sus carros y jinetes. Cuando me haya cubierto de gloria a expensas del faraón, de sus carros y jinetes, los egipcios sabrán que yo soy el Señor. El ángel del Señor, que iba al frente de las huestes de Israel, se colocó tras ellas, y la columna de nube que iba delante también se desplazó, y se puso a sus espaldas entre, los, entre el campamento de los israelitas y el campamento de los egipcios. La nube era tinieblas para unos y claridad para otros. Y así los ejércitos no trabaron contacto durante toda la noche. Moisés extendió la mano sobre el mar. Y el Señor hizo soplar un, durante toda la noche un fuerte viento del este que secó el mar y dividió las aguas. Los israelitas entraron en el mar y no se mojaban, mientras las aguas formaban una muralla a su derecha y a su izquierda. Los egipcios se lanzaron en su persecución y toda la caballería del faraón, sus carros y jinetes, entraron tras ellos en el mar. Hacia el amanecer, el Señor miró desde la columna de fuego y humo el ejército de los egipcios, y sembró entre ellos el pánico. Trabó las ruedas de sus carros, de suerte que no avanzaban sino pesadamente. Dijeron en los egipcios, huyamos de Israel, porque el Señor lucha en su favor contra Egipto. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, extiende tu mano sobre el mar, para que vuelvan las aguas sobre los egipcios, sus carros y sus jinetes. Y extendió Moisés su mano sobre el mar, y al amanecer las aguas volvieron a su sitio, de suerte que al huir los egipcios se encontraron con ellas, y el Señor los derribó en medio del mar. Volvieron las aguas y cubrieron los carros a los jinetes y a todo el ejército del faraón, que se habían metido en el mar para perseguir a Israel. Ni uno solo se salvó. Pero los egipcios... Pero los hijos de Israel caminaban por el, el seco, en medio del mar. Las aguas le hacían muralla a derecha e izquierda. Aquel día salvó al Señor a Israel de las manos de Egipto. Israel vio a los egipcios muertos en la orilla del mar. Israel vio la mano fuerte del Señor sobre los egipcios. Y el pueblo temió al Señor, creyó en el Señor y en Moisés, su siervo. Entonces, Moisés y los hijos de Israel cantaron este cántico al Señor.
Oremos. Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like you to be seated for the third reading. Put in sentarse para la tercera lectura. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what does not satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David, as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Oremos. Almighty and ever-living God, so hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveil the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to remain standing. Pueden quedarse de pie para la gloria, for Gloria. this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection. Stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to please be seated. 
pwede na sentar sa'yo. Lectura de la carta del apóstol San Pablo a los romanos. Hermanos, todos los que hemos sido incorporados a Cristo, Jesús por medio del bautismo, hemos sido incorporados a Él en su muerte. En efecto, por el bautismo fuimos sepultados con Él en su muerte, para que así como Cristo resucitó de entre los muertos, por la gloria del Padre, así también nosotros llevemos una vida nueva. Porque si hemos estado íntimamente unidos a Él por una muerte semejante a la suya, también lo estaremos en su resurrección. Sabemos que nuestro hombre viejo fue crucificado con Cristo para que el cuerpo del pecado quedara destruido a fin de de que ya no sirvamos al pecado, pues el que ha muerto queda libre del pecado. Por tanto, si hemos muerto con Cristo, estamos seguros que también viviremos con Él. Pues sabemos que, que, que Cristo, una vez resucitado de entre los muertos, ya nunca morirá. La muerte ya no tiene dominio sobre Él porque al morir murió al pecado de una vez para siempre y al resucitar vive ahora para Dios. Lo mismo ustedes, considérense muertos al pecado y vivos para Dios en Cristo Jesús, nuestro Señor. Palabra de Dios. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen on that first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? And when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. 
Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. Transcurrido sábado, María Magdalena, María la madre de Santiago, Salomé, compraron perfumes para ir a embalmazar a Jesús. Muy de madrugada, el primer día de la semana, a la salida del sol, se dirigieron al sepulcro. Por el camino se decían unas a otras, ¿Quién nos quitará la piedra de la entrada del sepulcro? Al llegar, Vieron que la piedra ya estaba quitada, a pesar de ser muy grande. Entraron en el sepulcro y vieron a un joven vestido con una túnica blanca, sentado en el lado derecho, y cenaron de miedo. Pero él les dijo, no se espanten, busquen a Jesús Nazaret, el que fue crucificado, no está aquí, ha resucitado. Miren el sitio donde lo habían puesto. Ahora vayan a decirles a sus discípulos y a Pedro, Él irá delante de ustedes a Galilea. Allá lo verán como Él les dijo. Palabra del Señor. you to please be seated. Pueden sentarse. What a beautiful and joyful opportunity for us to be here. Thank you also very much for making the trip. Some of you travel great distances to be here with your family and friends, your co-workers, neighbors. Thank you so very much for being here in this church for this glorious celebration. Muchísimas gracias a ustedes por estar aquí, por llegar. Algunos viajaron muy lejos por estar aquí en esta tarde noche con tanto gozo, con tanta alegría. Damos gracias a Dios por la oportunidad por celebrar con nuestros hermanos y amigos y uh, personas de nuestro trabajo y de la escuela. Entonces aquí estamos. So we are gathered here on this beautiful evening, this Easter vigil, this granddaddy of them all, what they call the mother of all liturgies. It's a wonderful celebration with a lot of beautiful, enriching symbols. Uh, we had some powerful passages from sacred scripture proclaimed this evening. Our lectors did a phenomenal job proclaiming God's word, really speaking out God's holy word of his work within salvation history. Now we have representatives in our community here within our church, our school. One thing that Father John and I and Deacon Jim, when we have the opportunity to preach within the school, we do kind of an interactive homiletic experience where we ask questions of the kiddos. And so I don't want to put any of the kiddos on the spot. So maybe I'll just direct all my questions to Father John. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to put the LPV on alert. Don't worry. You did a phenomenal job with that exalted. Ah, huh? that was really good. Thank you for singing out God's goodness. That was enough. <laughs> but if you have an answer to these questions, feel free to raise your hand and I'll try to call on you. Uh, so within our first readings that we heard for this evening, boys and girls in particular, we heard some very similar themes. There were a few different words that stood out from those first readings and also kind of corresponded to what we did within the darkness. So did you hear within the first readings any particular words stand out to you that kind of came across within those readings? And if none of the boys and girls want to raise their hand, that's okay. Maybe some of our older boys and girls, any of the adults want to share? What are some of the words from those first readings that you heard, that we heard throughout? Anybody? Anybody at all? <laughs> Alguien sabe, entonces escuchamos ya en las primeras lecturas algunas palabras, algunas cosas muy importantes que nosotros estamos celebrando en esta tarde noche, unas palabritas que estuvieron ya presentes en las lecturas. Alguien quiere ofrecer una palabra, si no, vamos para los adultos, los niños mayores. Yes, what do you have? Light and darkness. Ah, light and darkness. Thank you, young man. That was perfect. You're right. I was thinking of going for light and darkness. So we began, many of us in the courtyard space, 
And it was there that we lit the beautiful Easter candle. You could say things really got lit in the courtyard. It was really beautiful and powerful to have this symbol of that light of Christ shining forth. And then we had those little candles. How many of you had little candles? ¿Cuántos estuvieron las velitas allá? Conocido Pascual, comenzamos allá en la oscuridad, pero tuvimos allá la luz de Cristo, una representación aquí, Conocido Pascual, el velón grande. Okay, thank you very much for that. So we had light and darkness. What other word or phrase stood out in those first few readings? Maybe some of you saw me take a drink of this during one of the Psalms. There was one other word that really stood out, I think, in the Psalms and those readings. Anybody? What, what, what are you talking about? Oh, oh, I, yes, what are you talking about? Very good. I'm still trying to work on my jokes after 40 days of giving that up. Uh, yes, water. Entonces, nosotros escuchamos también de agua. We heard about water from the beginning of creation. We heard there about how God separated the waters. Water was significant in the book of Exodus. We heard there about the Israelite people as they crossed through the waters there from slavery into freedom. Nosotros escuchamos allá desde la creación en el libro de Éxodo con los israelitas con su libertad. Además del profeta Isaías con el agua. We heard from the prophet Isaiah about the water there, about drawing water. So indeed, we heard about this theme of water. And we've got 18 of our wonderful friends here, soon to be brothers and sisters in Christ through the saving waters of baptism. We're going to become a, an official part of our Christian family here. So a beautiful reminder there that we have here tangibly as well. All right. Now within that reading we had right before the gospel, and then within the gospel, we had a reference to Jesus. What is it we're celebrating boys and girls tonight and tomorrow and throughout the next 50 days about Jesus. ¿Qué estamos celebrando hoy en esta noche, mañana y para los siguientes 50 días? Estamos celebrando algo especial de Jesús. ¿Qué estamos celebrando? Aha, su res resurrección. Sí, you guys are going to say the same thing. Perfecto. La Pascua, you're right. Yeah, we're celebrating Easter. We're celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Absolutely. And so we are filled here with great joy. We've got so many wonderful flowers. We've got the banners. All these are visual expressions of that joy that we ourselves experience. We had the beautiful music helping us throughout those psalms. Thank you so much to our choir members and musicians, our instrumentalists outstanding there, helping to move us along. Thank you again, Father John, for lifting your voice with us as we heard there about the exalted. Nosotros tenemos tantas cosas con flores, con todas las decoraciones, cosas visuales para ayudar a nosotros a celebrar con gozo, con la música de Dios. Entonces, esta vez nos inspira para hacer algunas cosas especiales en estos días especiales. So because of all these special symbols, these signs, all this beautiful music, sometimes it moves people to do things very differently. Sometimes it moves them to write a poem or a song. And so, wouldn't you know what I did the same for this Easter vigil? I put together a little something. Entonces yo escribí algo de una cancioncita. Y si ustedes pueden acompañarme. So it's not very long. It's just seven short verses, which sounds like a lot. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's going to go by very quickly. Uh, you might recognize it, uh, especially when we get to the refrains of Alleluia. Uh, this is from All Creatures of Our God and King, a good kind of reminder about ourselves being created in God's image and likeness. It's a very Franciscan sort of theme that we ourselves are part of God's greater creation. So at the Alleluia's, feel free to join in. Entonces, nosotros somos hechos en la imagen de Dios. Escuchamos esto allá en la primera lectura. Primer libro de la Biblia en el libro de Génesis. Entonces, yo voy a tener una cancioncita, lo de las escrituras, y ustedes pueden acompañarme con las aleluyas. ¿Está bien? ¿Sound good? All right, soon enough it'll be over. Don't worry. <laughs> On this great night we all must sing with joyful hearts to Christ the King. Alleluia, alleluia. For Jesus rose up from the grave, conquering death our souls to save. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Todos estamos para acá. Niñas, niños, mamá, papá, aleluya, 
Alleluia. Con gozo a causa del Salvador, a Cristo nuestro Redentor. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Some of our friends will be baptized in saving waters that are prized. Alleluia, Alleluia, by grace and mercy from the Lord, thou have new life in them restored. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Con algo de aceite en la frente Dios transmite. Alleluia, Alleluia. La confirmación es muy bien para ser fuerte y sabio. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. What we heard in God's holy word helps us to overcome absurd. Alleluia, Alleluia. When life gets tough to make it through, Christ helps us do what we must do. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Santa Eucristia es un don, lleno de paz, vida, perdón. Alleluia, Alleluia. La presencia de Cristo aquí, amor divino para ti. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Sure of you we gather with great joy, Every man, woman, girl, and boy. Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise God, Saint Odilia, all our days, this night and then for always. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy Easter. <laughs> Did someone say encore? No, no. <laughs> there's, there's no encore. Thank you, though. Pueden sentarse. Uh, we now invite forward our representatives, our leaders from our faith formation department, Christian, Isabel, and Lucas. And they will help to call forward, or at least to help those uh, who will be baptized to stand in just a moment. Por favor, pónganse de pie cuando escuchen su nombre. Please stand when you hear your name. Ciclali Lascano Pacer. Luciano Lascano Pacer. Angie Andrade Espinosa. Iker Hernández Vázquez. Sandra Álvarez Torres. Tiago Tapia Conteras. Tiffany Ortega Gomez. Nina Denke. Anthony Johnson. Callum Ferguson. Amelia Brown. Haley Turnbull. Henry Palombo. Henry Brousseau. Landon Turnbull. Nora Milky, Nora Thompson. Dearly beloved, 
with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of these, our brothers and sisters in their blessed hope, so that as they approach the font of rebirth, the Almighty mighty Father may bestow on them all his merciful help. Hermanos y hermanas, hermanitos y hermanitas, acompañemos con nuestra oración a quienes anhelan renacer a una vida nueva en la fuente de bautismo, para que Dios, nuestro Padre, les otorgue su protección y amor. I invite you to please stand, por favor, de pie. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint James and Saint John, the sons of thunder, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Dolce Lopez Pontes, pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima, pray for us. Saint Peter Claver, pray for us. Saint Andrew Zunglack, pray for us. Saint Odelia, pray for us. Saint John Newman, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth and Seton, pray for us. Saint Catherine Drexel, pray for us. Saint Ekateri de Gaguita, Pray for us, Saint Pope John the Twenty Third. Pray for us, Saint Mother Caprini Francis Xavier. Pray for us, Saint Pope Paul the Sixth. Pray for us, Saint Pope John Paul the Second. Pray for us, Saint Teresa of Calcutta. Pray for us, all holy men and women. Pray for us. Almighty, ever-living God, be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism so that what is to be carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Along with Deacon and our server, we're going to go right by the baptismal font to bless the water. Deacon's going to be taking the Easter candle and placing it symbolically within the baptismal font three times, signifying that entry of Jesus into human history to bless these waters and then, by extension, then to bless those here. Entonces, con el diácono, nuestro monaguillo y yo, vamos a tener la bendición del agua con el cirio pascual y estas palabras. O God, by invisible power, accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end of vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung on the cross gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. 
May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this bond, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism in the death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, at this time, I invite you to relight your candles once again from the Easter candle. Deacon Jim will help to light. Vamos a prender de nuevo nuestras velitas. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once, renounce, we, by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. I also invite our elect to make their renunciation of sin and profession of faith for the first time together with our family of faith. Hermanos, hermanas, hermanitos, hermanitas, Por medio del bautismo hemos sido hechos partícipes del misterio pascual de Cristo, es decir, por medio del bautismo hemos sido sepultados con él en su muerte para resucitar con él a la vida nueva. Por eso culminaron nuestro camino cuaresmal, es muy conveniente que renovemos las promesas de nuestro bautismo, con las cuales un día renunciamos a Satanás y a sus obras en la Santa Iglesia Católica. También invito a nuestros elegidos a hacer su renuncio al pecado y profesión de fe por primera vez junto con esta familia de fe. So, in our responses in English will just be I do to these six questions. Uh, in Espanol, in which respuestas al inicio, vamos a decir si renuncio tres veces a las cosas malas y luego tres veces si creo a las cosas buenas. Okay. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do you believe in God, the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, Keep us in his grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. And please be seated and carefully extinguish your candles. Ahora pueden apagar a las velas y pueden sentarse con cuidado.
Those to be baptized, please come to the waters of baptism with your godparents. Nina, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. Felicidades. Iker, yo te bautizo en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Henry Franklin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sandra, yo te bautizo en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Anthony Christopher, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. NG, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nora Gale, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Luciano, yo te bautizo en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Sidlale, yo te bautizo en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Tiago, yo te bautizo en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. To you, newly baptized, you become a new creation and clothe yourself in Christ. Bring your baptismal garment and bring it unstained at the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so you may have everlasting life. If you have your towel, you can return your towel too. That's, that's all right. <laughs> um, they also uh, receive, there's a group of the parish with our prayer shawl ministry who put together the white prayer shawls as well. That's that outward reminder in a visual way. They've been prayed over that you would receive that outpouring of God's grace. Ustedes se han transformado en nuevas criaturas, están revestidos de Cristo. Trae la vestidura bautismal que han de llevar limpia de mancha ante el tribunal de nuestro Señor Jesucristo para alcanzar la vida eterna. Amén. invite the godparents of those who were just baptized to come forward with the candles. Entonces, padrinos o madrinas pueden estar aquí acercarse para Sirio Pascual con las velas para aprender con el diácono Jim. So you can light those godparents for your godchildren and then you'll go back to give that to them. Entonces, los padrinos van a aprender las velas para dar para sus ahijados. So you'll give those to your godchildren very carefully, very gently, gingerly,
But to you, the newly baptized, receive the baptismal candle. You've been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as a child of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your heart. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Ustedes ya los bautizados han sido iluminados por Cristo. Caminan siempre como hijos de la luz y guardan la llama de la fe viva en su corazón para que puedan salir al encuentro del Señor cuando venga con todos los santos en la gloria celestial. Well, what a joy to welcome these newly baptized into the body of Christ, huh? How about a round of applause for them? Now at this time, Father Scott, Father John, Deacon, Jim, and myself, we're going to go throughout the entire community here, and we're going to sprinkle you with holy water, the reminder of our baptism. So as we do so, our wonderful choir musicians will lead us in very festive, joyful songs. So be ready. Might want to have your umbrellas out. <laughs> got a good holy soaking, a dousing of the Spirit and God's goodness there. Espero que ustedes ya recibieron mucha agua bendita, un recuerdo del bautizo, la gracia de Dios. As we prepare to now celebrate the sacrament of confirmation, we address our candidates to be received into full communion within the Catholic Church. So I think we've got some helpers, or at least Lucas, who's going to help here. As your name is called, please come forward with your sponsor. 
Bryce Steppen. Charlize Ann Balakow. Hector Lopez. Kelly Turnbull. Melina Lopez. Michael Sanchez Ambrosio. Vanessa Alvarado. Natalie Gim. Lisa Eliotto. And Corey Thompson. Also, Jesus Reyes. And Julissa Torres. Of your own free will, you've asked to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. You've made your decision after careful thought under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I now invite you in the presence of this community to profess the Catholic faith. In this faith, you'll be one with us for the first time at the Eucharistic table of the Lord Jesus, the sign of the Church's unity. Entonces ustedes ya han preparado, han pensado en esto. And now I ask you to make this profession as you follow the words of what Lucas will lead you in. Just repeat after him. I believe and profess all that the Holy Catholic Church believes, teaches, and proclaims to be revealed by God. Very good. It was a profession and a memory test, and you did great. Dear brothers and sisters, the Lord receives you graciously into the Catholic Church. His loving kindness has led you here that in the unity of the Holy Spirit you may have full communion with us in the faith that you have professed in the presence of his family. May God who has begun this good work in you bring it to completion in the eternal banquet of heaven. Amen. I now invite our newly baptized who will be confirmed to please come forward as well to make your way up front. Ahora les invito a los que ya fueron bautizados. And at this point, you can blow out those candles too that you receive, those baptismal candles carefully. You can ex extinguish those. Pueden apagar a las velas. Muy bien, for your own safety and well-being. And so we'll have, again, the names read from our friends up above there at the Ambo. They'll make their way through. When you hear your name, you can go forward with your sponsor for the spots on the left side over here. Ciclali Lascano Pacer. Luciano Lascano Pacer. Angie Andrade Espinosa. Iker Hernandez Vasquez. Sandra Álvarez Torres, Tiago Tapia Conteras, Tiffany Ortega Gómez, Nina Dengi, Anthony Johnson, Callum Ferguson, Amelia Brown, Haley Turnbull, Henry Palombo, Henry Brosso, Landon Turnbull, Nora Milkey, and Nora Thompson. Perfect. You're all ready and raring to go. I forgot the chrism oil, which is kind of essential for this. <laughs> We've got it now. My dearly baptized and candidates for confirmation, by your baptism, you've been born again in Christ by baptism. You become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you're to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us. The Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to the baptized. Mis queridos recién bautizados que han sido regenerados por Cristo y transformados en miembros suyos y de su pueblo sacerdotal, ahora van a recibir al Espíritu Santo que ha sido derramado sobre nosotros 
su mismo Espíritu que envió el Señor sobre los apóstoles en el día de Pentecostés, que ellos y sus sucesores confieran a los bautizados. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit which you are to receive will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. Ustedes recibirán la fuerza prometida por el Espíritu Santo con ella, configurados más perfectamente a Cristo. Podrán dar testimonio de la pasión, muerte y resurrección del Señor para que con su fortaleza sean miembros activos de su iglesia y constructores del cuerpo de Cristo en la fe y en el amor. My dear friends here in this community, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these newly baptized and candidates for confirmation to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. Mis queridos hermanos y hermanas aquí presentes, oremos en nuestro Dios Padre Celestial para que derrame al Espíritu Santo sobre los que acaban de ser bautizados y los fortalezca con sus dones y los unja para que sean más conformes a Cristo, el Hijo de Dios. Vamos a tener un momento de silencio. We'll take just a moment of silent prayer. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Send them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence through Christ our Lord. Dios Todopoderoso, Padre nuestro Señor Jesucristo, por el agua del Espíritu Santo, libraste a estos tus hijos e hijas del pecado y les diste nueva vida. Envía sobre ellos a tu Espíritu Santo para que sea su ayuda y guía. Dales ese espíritu de sabiduría, de la inteligencia, el espíritu de consejo y de fortaleza, el espíritu de ciencia y de piedad. Como los del espíritu de su santo temor y de reverencia en tu presencia, te lo pedimos por Cristo nuestro Señor. Amén. All right. So I will go individually down the line for those who will be confirmed with the holy oil. In English, I will say, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. You'll respond with, amen. Then I'll say, peace be with you, with a little handshake or a fist bump if you prefer. En español, yo voy a decir su nombre y luego recibe por esta señal de don del Espíritu Santo. Van a responder, amen. Luego, la paz sea contigo. Luego, dale la mano o chocala. Okay. Nora, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Nora, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
invite you to please or join me in congratulating our newly confirmed here. Please be seated for the preparation of the altar. Pueden regresar a sus bancas. Gracias. We got one right.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Except we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> As you're able, I invite you to please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Odelia, St. Paul, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Bernard our Bishop, his assistant bishops, the order bishops, and all the clergy, the entire people, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. I invite you to please stand. Vamos a cantar la oración de Padre Nuestro. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Once again, I invite you to please kneel as you're able. Una vez más, les invito por estar de rodillas. In just a few moments, those who have come into the church and those who are baptized uh, will be receiving their first Holy Communion. Um, they'll be receiving kind of along with everyone else as we come forward, but at the same time, just want to acknowledge and give thanks to God for those who will be receiving their first Holy Communion. Uh, but just wanted to put that out there. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Hallelujah. Y algunos van a comulgar por la primera vez. Entonces, uh, van a recibir como en el mismo orden de los demás, pero queremos reconocer a ellos y algunos de sus padrinos que van a acompañarlos, um, pero van a recibir con los demás también. Gracias.
For one final time, let us stand and pray. Oremos. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, again, heartfelt thanks and gratitude to all of you for your presence here, for your prayers, your perseverance. I know it was a long liturgy. I think it's still today. We didn't go into tomorrow yet, right? So <laughs> we're, we're doing good. That was a beautiful opportunity, though. Thank you to those who came forward to be baptized, to receive the Sacrament of Confirmation, First Holy Communion, or a combination thereof. Thank you to your sponsors, to your families, to your friends, to your classmates, to others who were here. Thank you again to our Faith Formation team for the great work you do. One of our sponsors, Mr. Scroggins, also does great work in the school as well. Uh, thank you to everyone for all that you've done, for all those who participated within liturgy, those who did behind-the-scenes work, those who decorated the church, our musicians and singers. I could go on and on, so I will for just a moment. Thanks again to Father Scott and Father John for Deacon. Thanks to our servers, our lectors. Uh, thanks to everyone and everyone, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Muchas gracias a todos por su presencia. Gracias por estar aquí. Gracias a Dios, principalmente. We give thanks to God above all. Uh, now, I know I, I kept going on and on about it uh, at different points throughout the Lenten season. I gave up jokes, so I thought I'd tell one here at the end of Mass. I don't know if it's worth the wait, or maybe you're just looking forward to getting home after a long celebration. Uh, but, you know, after such a long liturgy, I feel really hungry. I might go back to the rectory with Father John and eat like 12 dozen omelets. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> You're, you're welcome, I think. Again, seguimos unidos en la gracia de Dios en estos días pascuales. We'll have a final blessing here for you. The Lord be with you. I invite you to bow down and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. May he who refers stores you to eternal life and the resurrection of his only begotten, endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. 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 Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah.